I really like this. But will I like this even more? That's what we're here to find out. Started out with the regular carbon copy using what else but my Reverend Jetstream. And then over to the Jazz Master for some eighth note triplets on the carbon copy deluxe. A small footnote up front here, my desk is noisy, like electrically, which is why I typically use guitars with humbuckers, but I just couldn't pass up the sweet sound of those Jazzmaster pickups for that piece there. So you probably heard some hum in there, especially as the note started to decay and my compressor started applying gain, but that's my desk and all the gadgets and lights around it, not the pedal. This is not a noisy pedal, it doesn't have hum. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. The carbon copy. The MXR carbon copy was a bold return to the basics. 600 milliseconds of bucket brigade fun and knobs for delay time, regeneration, that's feedback, and mix. For whatever reason, they also went ahead and included a modulation feature, which gives those echoed notes a little bit of sway. If you want to fine tune that modulation sound, you can simply pop off the back plate and here's two nicely labeled knobs on the inside. Clearly, they didn't want anyone accidentally messing with the Bucket Brigade calibration trim pots. For a lot of musicians of a certain age, but not quite a certain age, this was our first Bucket Brigade delay pedal. And yeah, there's just something to the way those echoes just disintegrate over time, like cornflakes in a bowl of milk you forgot about and left in the kitchen.
Oh, yeah. This was also the first time I got to experience true analog self-oscillation with the stretching and the smooshing of that sample into a screaming ball of sound. That's just fun right there. So the classic carbon copy is, I think, safe to say, a modern day classic. But setting a tempo with a knob can be a pain. And in order to get to those modulation adjustment trim pots, I'm supposed to, what, carry around a screwdriver everywhere I go? Come on. There's got to be a better way. Enter the Carbon Copy Deluxe. This adds tap tempo, tempo subdivisions, a bright mode, an expression pedal input. It doubles the total delay time to 1.2 whole seconds, and it moves these modulation controls onto the front of the pedal so we can adjust them on the fly. <laughs> I think that for a lot of people, it's the tempo features on here that will make them go for this over the standard. So let's start there. This switch right here lets us tap out the tempo that we want in quarter notes. And then we can use this button right here to subdivide the beat. Here's something kind of interesting that I just learned about, and I think it's worth mentioning. You can set the delay time up here using this knob, and it works exactly as you'd expect, but that beat subdivision thing won't do anything. That feature is apparently only there for tempos that you've actually tapped out. Either way, we still get this nice little flashing beat indicator down here on the bottom, though. Now, if you weren't a band nerd like I was, Quarter notes are notes which last one quarter of a typical 4-4 measure. They're essentially the underlying beat. Eighth notes are half the duration of a quarter note, so you can fit eight eighth notes into a 4-4 measure. And we can keep going with shorter notes and get sixteenth notes. And that interval between the notes hitting is how quickly the repeats come back at us. Advanced menu here, when you put a dot next to a note, it lengthens the note by half. So if we dot an eighth note, we get something that sits literally between a quarter note and an eighth note. <laughs> And dotted eighths are really fun because now if our phrasing is based around eighth notes, we get these echoes landing in between the notes, building up this interesting, complex, syncopated rhythm. It's based on the rhythm, but it's not always on the beat. That's fun. We also get triplets, and a triplet is just playing three notes in the space where you would normally play two notes of the same value. So here's some eighth notes followed by eighth note triplets. MXR made a bright version of the carbon copy in this slime green color for people who want those higher frequencies to shine through a little more. It's a very subtle difference and on the Deluxe, we get that subtle difference available to us at the push of a button. But 
I think the real sleeper feature here is this expression pedal input. With this, you set the expression pedal heel down and set how you want it for that position. And then you go toe down and set the pedal for that position. And then you hold down the tap button for two seconds. And now we've got an A setting and a B setting, and we can transition between those two settings. <laughs> If we aren't feeling very expressive, we can set it up to toggle between those A and B presets by hitting this button down here, leaving the jack on the back available as an external tap tempo pedal. There is actually quite a few ways you can use this jack on the back here, like toggling the bright mode, the modulation, subdividing the beats. But one caveat to all this is that the regen and the mix setting don't save, so you can't use your foot to edge into the feedback and then back it off. I was really hoping that we'd be able to do that, but both of those controls are probably done entirely by the physical location of these potentiometers, so oh well. Now, because the knobs are on the front here, we don't need to dive inside to adjust the modulation stuff, but it does give us an input gain switch to adjust the level. And that's really important if you use your amps effects loop or if you're plugging this into a mixer or recording interface. It also has a dry switch, which mutes the dry signal so all you get is delay. And that can be useful for recording situations or when you're running this in parallel with the original signal. But the question we're here to answer, is this a worthy upgrade? Well, to me, the core delay between them sounds the same. So there's that. So if you're the type of player who gets a setting that they really like and then just leaves it that way, the regular carbon copy is for you. Or maybe the mini if you're short on space. The deluxe starts to make a lot of sense when you're playing songs which depend on a rhythmic delay. Being able to tap out the tempo that your band is actually playing right before your lead part and knowing that you're gonna be getting back perfect dotted eighth notes, that's a big deal for a lot of people. And then you add in the presets, the modulation knobs, the added delay time. This all makes it easier to get the sound that you have in mind without having to constantly twist knobs. And if that access and automation is important, then it's probably worth grabbing the deluxe. As of fall 2023, those features bump up the asking price from $150 to $230, which isn't all that bad for a delay with some brains and a classic sound. I'd say another option is the DoD rubber neck, but when did those start going for $350 new? I still remember when they were blowing those things out. You know, I think about people getting into letterpress art and listening to vinyl and shooting on film, driving standards, and there's definitely something to having the whole process and mechanism right there in front of you. And I think about that when I see some of the pedals that people are spending four or $500 on, and I wonder if we're approaching the pedal equivalent of the rack mount era. Is there a saturation point for algorithms? Are we really going to witness the rebirth of MIDI? Do today's younger players even know what a carbon copy is? I mean, besides the email thing. Back to these pedals. I think this does a great job of taking that beautiful core carbon copy sound and adding valuable and thoughtful features that a gigging or recording musician would find very helpful. If I were in the market, I'd probably skip right over this and go right for the deluxe. Obviously, MXR knows that there are two schools of thought on this. And once again, how lucky are we to have those options? I'll catch you on the next one.